Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Imam of Peace Statements Buhari has turned himself into an international figure of fun by Omar Kiri. The popular Islamic scholar Imam Tagwada was trending on Twitter yesterday. In fact, the peace advocates and best-selling author drew the attention of some Nigerians on Twitter when he took time through his series of tweets to call out President Muhammadu Buhari not for doing enough since he assumed his second tenure as Nigerian president. It was as if the Islamic scholar was feeling the pain of Nigerians who are bitter that the President Muhammadu Buhari has not addressed Nigerians enough on the coronavirus pandemic. A lot of Nigerians supported him on all sides to become the president of Nigeria. However, he has not shown his own support for the Nigerian citizens since he became uh, the president of the country. Former spokesman of ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, Mr. Rono Omokiri, who observed the tweets of the Imam, has said that President Muhammad Buhari has turned himself into an international figure of fun to the extent that well respected Imam calls him out. The tweet reads thus Can you believe it? Buhari has turned himself into an international figure of fun to the extent that one of the world's most popular imam clergy describe him as the dumbest person in nigeria and he went to that further there are other tweets here um it could be recorded that nigerians have been asking for the way about for the way buhari has been behaving and his whereabouts and worried that he is not addressing nigerians like he should and don't forget that there are rumors that he's no longer in the country as it's assumed he has been flown out of the country for the treatment of coronavirus, which the presidency says he is tested negative for. He's tested negative yet will not address Nigerians and will not come out in the open to commiserate with the, those that have been infected or going through treatment right now. How come the president is not a president indeed? To reflect that indeed is the number one citizen of Nigeria. Well, Nigerians, you've heard it all. Uh, we are hearing now that President Muhammad Buhari is not in the country. The presidency has not denied it when attacked with this and when confronted with this. The presidency has not um, denied it. However, they've not um, issued a statement. All we are hearing from, we are hearing um, uh, Femi. Femi Adeshino, and as well as the Garuba Shehu, them saying one thing or the other, that President Muhammad Buhari is in the country, he has not left the country, he's in the country, he's in the country, yeah, ad let him address the Nigerian citizen, let him come out and address the population, and tell us exactly what is going on, he should not um, be hiding himself, and um, you know, um, he, they said his test was negative, how come he's negative, yet he cannot address the Nigerian population, he cannot speak to the people. He cannot come out and address Nigerians and confront and, you know, and, you know, just just sympathize, empathize and make sure that the population feel the impact. You know, this clergy has gone ahead and has really has blasted Buhari. You know, we saw it yesterday. It was trending on um, on um, on Twitter, you know, his reaction to Muhammad Buhari not doing enough to the Nigerian population. In fact, there are records of people who truly believe that Buhari would mark the difference. Going back to his history in um, 1985, those times when he was initially the president was young, the people talked about what he did then in the country, how he was there making sure that Nigeria was even as far as clean. You know, I, I hear people say that then 
you cannot even you know people just walk on the street and you just see you want you feel like um urinating and you just urinate on the side of the road not during the time of buhari's not during the time of buhari's reign you know as a military president then it was you know so when he was coming back in 2015 people felt like oh this this would be a good step in the right direction and people voted for him as against good luck jonathan feeling like okay nigeria is going to receive a fresh breath of her air this is someone that has ruled before let's see something new something fresh in fact <laughs> we thought that uh, good luck jonathan was was not good <laughs> this is not bad this is worse <laughs> you know because i mean everybody in nigeria can attest to it apart from those who are surrounding him especially the likes of uh, abba karin this man we know that from the president's wife not from me mrs buhari well the person of aisha buhari said out in the open as soon as he was he was tested positive and started showing signs and symptoms of the the sickness already in his in his body she said he, he, he they can't they can't treat him in abuja because he did not uh, uh, uh even pay doctors as much not talking less of equipping the hospital mrs buhari said the money that have been released for that hospital the the clinic uh, the clinic house in abuja has all been in his fixed deposit account that was what mrs buhari said she said since 2015 so you know about this so the Buhari that was elected in the people's thought he was fair, he's going to be transparent, he's going to make Nigeria, you know, turn in the right direction. And we hear them saying they are running the transparency government. I wonder what the people around him are really saying. The Christians around Buhari, those that know about this coup that is going on in Nigeria, you all keep quiet. Listen, in, in law, it is called a corporate, okay? If, for instance, a murder occurs, that uh, remember me see person die the key person not be you kill the person no you not raise your hand you not do anything oh, but guess what you knew or you had a knowledge meaning say so you kind of hear about and say they won't go kill that person tomorrow or in an hour time and you do nothing about it things you can do is like reporting to the security um informing the person taking precautionary measures so that a crime does not occur and you do nothing about it and the crime goes ahead and occur guess what in law when that person that kills the person when he commits a murder is being persecuted you as well will be persecuted they call it accessory to murder because you know you have a knowledge of it but you did nothing about it you did not put any measures in place to advert or uh, to prevent that situation it's called an accessory I want, to, I want to ask a question here, Nigerians, and please, I will need an answer. If you could leave me a comment, that would be great. If you could share your thoughts, that would be awesome. What are all the Southwest, South, South, Southeast, governors, senators, House of Rep, all doing around Buhari saying? What are they all saying? It's been alleged that the person in Asso Rock is not Buhari. Hence, they don't want him exposed. That's why they are being cocky about him not addressing the nation what are they all doing about this matter if you know something about it that probably has it been alleged it's an imposter that is in is in Asurok, and you are saying nothing and you are carrying on with business as usual uh -huh. law call and say you be accessory to murder that's what the law of the land says how much more the one that have the unseen eyes the one that sees everything you think you will go scot free, truly and really. When people that should not have died died because you did not fix the hospital, like Abba Karime, like we heard Buhari's wife saying he has been pocketing all the money meant for health. Did you know how much has been invested, has been projected, and has been released for the health sector? Only in Abuja, by Abuja Hospital, since Buhari got into place, over 11 billion naira. Yet, there is not a single ventilator to show for it. They told us Buhari's uh, um, COVID-19 status is negative, yet it's in intensive care. Have you not seen people that have seriously been, uh, that are under, uh, you know, going through this COVID-19 sickness and then the whole thing with masks and everything still having, go on Twitter, please go on social media and see them still talking, still encouraging people to keep safe, not to get infected, what they are going through, still able to share and to encourage people. Have you not heard it? Have you not heard it? How come, even in the intensive care, the president cannot do a FaceTime, 
cannot do a live chat, cannot do a what are the all, all the social media platforms through which he can even he can even just address fellow Nigerians. What, what, what why wouldn't he do that? Why? It goes to tell you that there is more to it than beneath the eyes. There is things that they are hiding. There are things that are not acceptable that the Nigerian government is doing. And the time to change this is now. Can you see that the, 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 the event of COVID-19 is exposing a lot in Nigeria? That Buhari government was never working. It was all in shambles and it's all scam. You see? My people, now the matter where they don't be this so. Even in own clergy. As an Islamic clergy, don't don't yab and say you own too much. You are behaving like you are not you are not a, 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 a figure of fun because you have not done your homework. Well, guys, I beg not forget to thumbs up for your girl. If you've never subscribed, please do. We'll keep you up to date with all the happenings in Nigeria. God bless. Have a good day. Bye.